Hello viewers and welcome back to Aerospace Matt. Uh oh, it looks like our battery's dead. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start a battery without having your jump start or anything like that. Full disclosure, I am not responsible for anything if you try to do this at home. This does work, it has worked in my experience, but if you, you know, do something by putting it on the wrong plug or anything, and I'll show you how to do that. But if you have some, uh, like an accident or something, if you, I don't know, touch a plug, spoiler alert, uh, incorrectly i am not responsible for any mistakes that are made and any injuries that may occur while attempting this okay now that that's out of the way i have actually done this multiple times in the past and i would like to show you how to do it so if you're in the rc hobby or you know have an interest in that you can actually uh, start your battery this is a 2200 four cell lithium polymer battery the c rating there is 30. now for those of you in the rc hobby that doesn't look like very much but it actually works so what you'll need is of course a four cell battery and this is not fully charged by the way this is just one i had laying around it's at storage voltage you'll also need the charge lead from your charger i use an ec3 and that connects to the ic3 of the smart adapter and these three four millimeter banana plugs also this lipo checker is just uh, something that is recommended but you don't need it all right, so the first step is to remove your positive cover. And then I'm going to pause the video and show you how to connect. So what I like to do is I like to hold the plug, the positive plug away from the negative plug. Make sure they're not touching the same thing. Go ahead and connect the battery. And like I said, this is only 31% charged. Make sure you're not touching these two together yet. Now, I suppose it would be a good recommendation to have some sort of safety gloves with you, but I don't have those with me and you may not have you those with you on the side of the road. So I like to start with the negative connection first and then the positive. Now, the way you can remember that, and I like to ground things. So you're negative because your car isn't starting. You have a negative attitude, you start that first. And then when it starts, you have a positive attitude. So negative, positive, and then positive, negative. Now make sure you're not touching the uh, brass part here. Can you see there's a little bit of a spark? Make sure your polarity is correct before you touch them. Okay, go ahead and try it. Don't forget to unplug your battery. And there you have it. Your car has been started. This eliminates the need for jumper cables. And if you would like to see where I purchased these things, I am not sponsored. However, you can purchase these items from Horizon Hobby. This is a model airplane battery, 2200 4S, 14.8 volt, 30C smart pack. And it is used for RC airplanes, specifically my E-Flight F-15 Eagle, my Freewing F-18 Super Hornet, and my T-28 Trojan 1.1 meter. Now the battery is a 30C. Most people think you'd probably need a 50 or 100C for that. You actually don't, and it's a little bit warmer than when I first got it, but not too bad. If you're not in the RC hobby and you're watching this, you will probably need to buy some sort of container for this battery because they can spontaneously combust if you're not careful. So make sure they're not punctured. We're gonna go ahead and check and see how much battery we had left. Remember, we started with 31% and look at that, we're down to 26%. Now, the good thing about these Spectrum Smart batteries is they automatically discharge. So if the battery, uh, if you charge it and don't use it after three days, it will automatically discharge itself. So you don't have to worry about that. And then this is a EC3 adapter. I'm sure you can find one for the IC3, which is this orange plug. The only real difference being that this uses orange and black instead of red and black due to the smart brand. It's branding, nothing else. And make sure that red and black never touch. Now you could theoretically also start a fire like this if you're out in the woods and you need to start a fire, but generally these should never touch. And I would not go above three cell, not four cell, three cell, when starting a fire if you don't have matches or a lighter. We're gonna let the car idle here so that it will recharge the battery. 
And in the meantime, we're gonna put the cover back on. Thank you for watching this Aerospace Matt Quick Tip from the hobby to real life.